how do you become an ultrasound tech i want to be a tech but i don't know where to start i don't know how to start can you please help me and girl i got you hello guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl natalie sharon here back with another video and if you are new here i am an ob ultrasound tech i also own my own 3d ultrasound studio and i've been a tech for about almost seven years now so i can say i'm a little experienced i would say so i get this question asked a lot especially on my tiktok so how do you become an ultrasound tech i want to be a tech but i don't know where to start i don't know how to start can you please help me and girl i got you and if you like today's video please be sure to like comment more video ideas that you want me to do for you guys or any more questions oh so, yeah let's get into the video shall we so the first step on becoming an ultrasound tech is going to be research and i cannot say this enough because you guys have to make sure this is truly a job that you want to get into not just oh she's scanning oh my god it's like she's watching babies all day every job has its pros and cons so make sure you do your research if you haven't seen my pros and cons video of being ultrasound tech go watch that and if you think you could deal with the pros and cons especially the cons you can move on to the next step so that brings me to step two after you research and you're 110 percent sure that you want to be ultrasound tech the next step is going to be looking up dms schools what is dms diagnostic medical sonography i don't know if it's this way or this way let's do diagnostic medical sonography and then we do diagnostic medical sonography <laughs> Whether it's associate's program or a bachelor program, it does not matter. As long as you get your degree, it's fine. I just went the bachelor route because I'm extra and I love school and I love expanding my knowledge and I just love stressing myself out and yeah, that's why. But it's more reasons to why I went to the bachelor route. Again, previous videos, I explain all of that. But yeah, so you want to look for a school near you sometimes there's not going to be schools near you sometimes it's going to be like a state next to you or a little bit more further out i see a lot of people on my tiktok that they tell me like there's a lot of schools that aren't near me and that could be a little bit difficult another thing to research is schools but once you find a school make sure you look at the reviews make sure you could like interact with students that graduated prior see what sites they send their students out for externship this is very important guys all of that is like really falls into the whole research it's a lot of research because this is a career you're going into it's a medical career at that it's not just like you're gonna be a retailer you know this is a medical profession and yeah once you find a school you attend your school to either two to four years you study your ass off you take school seriously you don't want to be fooling around at the end of the day you are the eyes of the doctor if you miss something on the scan the doctor's not going to be able to see it because the doctors are relying on us to like trust us with our eyes you know we are the first ones to see the pathology also while you are in school i highly 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 I can't even say this enough. Recommend you guys take your SPI exam the moment you pass physics two. And yes, you can sit down for the SPI while you're still in school. As long as you pass physics one and two, baby, you are automatically able to take the SPI. And why should you take it right after, after um, your physics two? Because it's fresh in your head and you could just worry. Once you pass your SPI, you could just worry about like, externship and studying for your registry like that would be amazing instead not like me i was studying for my sbi while i was in my externship like you know which is okay it's fine but if i could go back i would have taken it seriously past physics too because after i was past physics too i was like nah i'm done like i'm done i need a vacation i don't want to talk about none, none of this but then it's like you still got the sbi to do but yeah take your sbi the minute you pass physics too that is a tip you should take and listen <sighs> then after you are done with your sbi during school right after you take your sbi you pass your sbi you're about to graduate you're about to go to externship well no you pass your sbi you're studying for your registry you're doing your externship which by the way let's talk about externship now during your externship you want to kick ass ladies you do not want to be sitting around on your phone just clocking in your time now that is a no now in my book now now okay because these hours that your school is giving you to finish either it's 300 hours 3000 hours i do not care you take each minute 
into a learning experience because at the end of the day those sonographers those doctors that are at your externship site they talk and ultrasound is a very small world we all know each other we all talk shit about each other it's real so to cover your ass to protect your name you want to do good in your externship you will never know they might hire you right after because you already have your SBI. get it this is what I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to prepare you guys to be the best ultrasound techs. Be the, be better than me if you can, <laughs> shit. Cause I want you guys to learn from my mistakes. I want you guys to succeed faster than it took me. Cause of all my mistakes, you guys can learn from my mistakes, skip them, avoid them, and keep proceeding. Yeah, you're gonna have bumps on the road to your success, of course. You're gonna have a day that your car breaks down, going to take an exam. You're gonna have times that you don't have money for your bus to go to your externship site. It's gonna happen, but listen, what God does is a day after another day. Each day, take it day by day. You wanna do good in your externship. If the ultrasound tech that works there tells you, you want the pro, you wanna practice, hell yeah. You're not gonna be like eh, introverted in the corner, like scared. All right, what's gonna happen if you never scan in your externship and then you have to go out to the field to work? Baby, do you know when you go into an ultrasound interview, it's not only verbal, like in person. Girl, you have to scan also. So if you're verbal and you're good to like, you're a people's person, you're good with interviews, but then you fuck up on the ultrasound, the, the tech is telling you give me a heart view give me the rvlt and you come out with the aortic arch like come on baby you are lost and it'd be the basic stuff like head circumference abdominal circumference like little stuff like that that you think oh i got it i got it i seen the tech scanning i could read it in my book it's not the same until you hold that probe and you're like oh because <laughs> one little move over with my little wrist i could be in a different view one little twist i'm in a different view one little listen if you want to be good if not i'm just trying to i'm just doing this video so you guys could be the best text ever like i mentioned before if you want to listen listen if not get the fuck out so yeah kick ass on your actionship they want you to scan scan they want you to do this do it because that's the only way you're going to learn hands-on learning and make your name known make sure they remember you for a good reason please guys we don't want to be that bad student that they talk about <laughs> it's like you just don't you just don't after your externship you graduate Yay. and i know by now it's probably like the best feeling ever because let's face it school is not easy studying going to externship sites going back to school at the night like it's a lot you know it's a lot but you finally graduate now is you schedule your registry rather that's ob abdomen echo whatever suits your boat and you are going to pass, yes, because Mama Natalie Teresa over here is gonna bless your heart and you are going to pass. Like I just know you, girl, you're just gonna pass. You're just gonna pass. And then once you do pass, write down underneath the comments that you pass, what you use and all of that because you gotta help each sister out. We all gotta help each other out. Enough with the hating each other, you know? let's love each other oh after you pass girl you know what that means it's time to make that money that's right and don't be discouraged there are places that will hire you without experience if i was able to do it so are you so are you and if they pay you 20 an hour 25 an hour starting out just fucking take it because you need your experience at the end of the day you know what i mean the more you scan like i said before the more you scan the better you're going to become just keep hustling on your way up and if you're thinking about going into like mfm or travel ultrasound they typically want two years experience but again work your way up there everything takes time okay because once you have the two year experience under your belt i highly recommend you guys if you can travel obviously because i understand some of you guys have families and kids and baby daddies i don't want you moving out and all i know i know i know oh i know, I know. <sighs> so yeah if you're able to do travel i highly recommend once you have those two years experience under your belt baby please travel just by looking up the travel jobs you're gonna see for yourself that it is money okay and i just want the best for you guys like i said before i want to be able to make even if it's just one person's life easier i can sleep at night <laughs> you know what i mean as long as i'm making you guys life easier so those are the steps of becoming ultrasound tech 
like I mentioned before. Do your research. Make sure this is a profession that you really want to do. If you could shadow even better. Look up schools in your area. Bachelor's, associates, or bachelor's. It does not matter. Don't make yourself. Don't be hard on yourself. As long as you're able to get into a program, sis, that's honesty. One step closer to your degree. Take your SBI after physics too. Study for your broads during externship. Take externship seriously. Pass your broads and then look for work. After you look for work, after two years experience, definitely, if you're able to travel, I highly recommend. So yeah, I think that's about it. I'm gonna try my best to make more videos for you guys because I've been slacking, like slacking. And, and I apologize, bear with me. But if you liked today's video, please like, comment, and subscribe again. Let me know down below what other videos you would like for me to do for you guys. I would love to help anyone out. So good luck. Hope you guys take this video seriously and just take it day by day. You got this, sis. I was able to do it. Anybody could do it. Wish you guys all the best. Bye. God bless you.